Nice shot. That post from the other day, friends, that was it. I ate it for this. We're staying up. Bad, eh? <laughs> you ever seen anything quite like that? Look at that chain. Look at it. Some kind of weird butterfly on it. They call it, what was it again, Rob? The Dolmar Silver Arrow. Silver Chipper Arrow or Arrow Chipper. <laughs> Look at that. What a weird chain. But it's still got light. Robert. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. So, Mr. Rob, Power Saw Rob, just came over, friends, and he actually, if you don't remember the last time Rob came, we ended up fixing up my, I guess it would be my 171. Yeah. And I sent Rob home with my big home light, friends, okay? The one we've got there. And I just, again, Rob's super handy with this stuff. And I got so much stuff on the go, 15,000 different saws. I don't mind sending the odd saw home with Rob because he helps me get them going. And he knows his stuff. And he's tenacious. He's got this thing running, this big, huge home light. Uh, well, it's not huge, but it is a pretty good size saw. And he's cleaned it right up. Rob, you said it come around nice. And it was carb, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 It had a nice hot spark. Um, yeah, other than taking the baffle out of the muffler. Yeah. But I got a surprise oh. for this one too. Oh dear, I like surprises. So friends, do you remember when Rob came last time we, we were investigating this cylinder and this 850? Do you remember that friends? We were talking about it. And we thought maybe it was a Bobby Walker cylinder. We don't know. I sent pictures to, to Donnie Walker. Donnie's gonna check with Bobby and see. But it had a fair ex bit of extensive work done to it. Really nice stuff though. Like nice porting. Yeah, it wasn't all hacked and garbage. It was like yeah. somebody spent a lot of time. So we're about to, because so what I said to Rob is, I want to, Rob, I, I would like to, because I'm, I want to get into porting the 850s, especially friends. And the Tin Man's got mine right now. Donnie Walker's done me one, fairly mild. Iron Horse has done me one. He didn't go crazy as well because they're different machines, friends. They're they're they they're their own little creatures. These things. So, uh, Bobby Walker has done some amazing things with these with these eight uh, fifty. Sorry. So we're about to flash this thing. Rob's putting the the battery on, or the battery the bar on it. But I'm gonna try this thing and I I want to see it. So what what Rob's done, friends. For exhaust which i like he's actually just done this look at this rob you think like i do you just use the existing yeah. flange right off the muffler yeah. and go from there exactly and that's what rob did friends straight shot it's a literally a straight shot he says it seems to do okay let's find out the runner let's see if we can get this going by itself so friends, at this stage, I want to see where the carburetor's at. I don't want to just start pouring fuel to it. I want to see whether it's going to, the low jet is set where it's at. You know what I mean? Just find out where it's at. So don't get all excited on the throttle when you're just learning a new saw.
pretty good. I know. You, hear, you, you can hear it up in the RPM too. Oh yeah, and it, it's even got a little more there. Oh, I know it does, but I just I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to push it. I want you to push it. Yeah. I want to see what it's gonna do. So so I I'm interested. What's most interesting to me is is what it's gonna do in that log down there. Yeah. So so. I'm just gonna look at the chain. It doesn't look too bad. I kind of dusted it because I had it in a bunch of cedar at work. I got a, a okay. cedar log at work that I tested, yep. testing cutting. Yeah. So I just was making. Yeah, well, as long as it's got an edge on it, so I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll give us a an idea and on then, whether it's gonna pull. Yeah, and then where we can kind of go from there too. Yeah. Because that's the other thing, like your idea of having that elbow. Yeah. And I've got, I've got, I've got an actual ninety. Yeah. For that conduit okay so i can snip a piece off of it and zap it on there do you braise it or just weld it i just weld it on yeah yeah because i i, I think i think a little bit of brack pressure might be nice and all it's going to do because see this here rob will get you right in the face oh yeah when you're when you're falling yeah, yeah. i can't have that like, that's right in your face so if we just went foof whoop, done yep. and i think it will give it back pressure Think it will and it might just need a bit it might not but it might yeah we'll that's, find out that's the other one right so we got that that's cool that's that's actually nice rob i like that nice job on that uh, it turned out good eh dude i'm surprised and that was all i was at a two seized up old piece of some. 850s that i got in a trade deal <laughs> well this is great I, i'm actually i i like this so I'm going to show the Tin Man that. Yeah. Tin Man, did you see that? I'm going to show Tin Man this and give him a little video of this because he's working on my muffler too. This will give him an idea. What's Rob doing over here? Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh, she's alive. check friends so hey look at this hey tin man look at that he's used the initial muffler right to where it goes into the box and he took the cut the box right off it and he just welded a pipe right on that's my thinking that's my kind of thinking right there you just used I, I just used the bottom piece and I actually took the elbow yep the elbow that goes up yep I cut two slits in it yep. and I bent all the metal down so it was opened up a bit opened up and straight shot it yes and then I I welded it. I just kind of hammered as I was tacking, yeah. just around that pipe, googled it all up, sanded her down, and bingo, bango, and bingo, bango, down, and I, I like it actually. I I think well, we have to have something that goes down. Yeah, we, we have to. I, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, I I can't run that because I'm a bucker. Yeah, you just yeah, I'm you don't bucking wood all day. Yeah, so well. Rob doesn't think like a faller because, like he just said, he does lots of bucking. Whereas a faller can't run that because as soon as he flips that saw and it's, it's right in his face. So uh, anyway, but we're gonna we're gonna give this a run. I want to see how this porting work on this saw, how it performs, how the saw performs. Then we can use this cylinder as a yay or a nay. I'm a, I'm excited. I'm I'm gonna go give it a shot right now. Uh, stay tuned, friends. Rob's just gonna swap a uh, a muffler out here. Look at this piston. This is a clean, clean, just pull that cord back a bit, Rob, nice and slow. Look at that, friends. Oh, oh look at how beautiful it is. Yeah, it's, it's a cleaned nice up. shape. It's cleaned up because when I opened it up, it was pretty- carbon -y. Oh yeah, but oh, now we got some heat cycles in it. Yeah. And we got some fresh fuel running through her. Yeah. She's, she's looking pretty good. Robbie but, likes his motor, she can tell. I oh, see his eyes yeah. light right up there. He gets going, you see? That's good, it's good, very good. Great little hobby for young men to get into these power saws. If any young fellas are out there and you're, you know, you're, you're you're thinking about wanting to use your hands to do something, go grab yourself an old Mac or an old, and get on the tailgate of a pickup and, and with, a, with a buddy and start playing with these old power saws, friends. It keeps you out of the pubs, keeps you off the streets. And you know what? For you, like, even. Like, like you, 
I'm sober. I celebrated 15 years. Did uh, you? Two days ago. No way. 15? September 7th was my sobriety birthday. 15 years sober. Congratulations. Uh, and, and, uh, beer and drugs. Yeah. And then when I got sober, I found saws. Yeah. I started playing around with those because I could make a little bit of extra cash. And the debt that I had, oh. I, I needed to pay it. Yeah. So my dad being Ajax, yeah. he helped me out, kind of learned me up a little bit. And then I just read and read and then talked to a bunch of old timers. Just constant, constant pounding the pavement, talking to people, whoever. Well, you're porting now. Yeah. I mean, you're actually porting these things. And I'm selling it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm okay with that. Exactly. It took me a long time to build that confidence. Yeah, Rob would, Rob, I remember even a year ago, Rob. Even a year ago, Rob said to me, he says, you know, Buck, and I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not confident. Didn't you? Yeah. You said, I, I'm not confident enough to get my port out there right now. He says, I want to get a few saws under my belt. Uh, I've actually felt a few Rob saws, the Shaw, Ian Shaw friends that I have on the channel. Hogan works with them. Uh, you've built a couple for him yeah. and he's been pretty tickled. So, so Rob, I got a lot of respect for Rob in the sense that, that, that he, for starters, he sobered up and got his, got his head together. But me and him click on these power saws. We always have. Yeah, it's it's the, one, <laughs> the, the big one where, you know, a lot of my friends, they don't get it. Yeah. And the, the people that do, you just you automatically, you know, you, yeah, you just like, a smile to your ah, face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm learning from this guy because, as you guys know, I'm, I'm not at the stage of porting or cracking them in half even yet, but I'm getting there and I want to do this. So. Rob's, Rob's been helping. You've got a 125 that's blowing up. I know. We got to get it going. We might, we might do that one. Well, we should actually. We should. We should yeah, crack you, that sucker now. You Donnie, do it. Donnie Walker was even talking about. Uh, he, I think he's got a piston for it. Really? Yep. Because I, I might even have one. Really? But if he's got one, then, you know. I think he does. He said uh, his dad might. I'll show you some of the, the redneck tailgate. Good. Fixing. I'm in. Yeah. Done. This is what I do. Cool. That's good. Okay, friends. I'm going to uh, get some earmuffs. We got enough power saw gas in that 850. I want to go stick it in the log and see if this porting job on this cylinder is worth us replicating or learning about. Isn't that pretty cool, friends? This is where, this is where the brain gets to go now because we were able to look inside the cylinder. It wasn't like we got a complete saw. Rob got the cylinder. So, and he knows what's being done to it. It's pretty interesting. So I can't wait till I get, I mean, I, I just haven't chose to dive in as deep as this. I probably could just get at it, but I want to, I want to learn. I want to learn. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay. Look where it's from. Courtney. Oh, nice. Courtney BC. 1967. Yeah. Is that what it says? Norco Equipment and Company. Oh, I love it. Outboard saws and logging supplies. Oh, that's a dead. So I want to know if that porting job has done anything for this saw. Who knows? It could have just been anybody in there who didn't know that just started porting. We don't know. We don't know. So we're going to find out. I want you to run that anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Friends, watch when I come in to the wood. I come in slow with low throttle because I want to see and feel if this saw has lost any pull or if it's just a steady pull. Watch what I do here.
but you know this 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 feeds my theory. How long have I been talking about this muffler? Like ever, a, since, ever since I met you. Exactly. <laughs> it's just that, friends, in a, in a Mac, friends, most saws are designed where the, 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 the muffler either comes right off the front and it comes into a box. Yeah. And it has, I would call it the sneeze box because it's able to sneeze. Whatever they do with it inside that box, every company does something different. But McCulloch, every time, most of their saws, most of them, this design, they come out, they hit a wall. Okay. Within an inch, they hit a wall and it's gotta be redirected. So this, this works. This muffler actually works. I'm surprised. That was kind of like, you remember that one I did for you? The, I cut the box right down. And yes, I, I, I do. And I made a little, little. Yeah, and didn't you have two little things on? Was it two or are we thinking of a different one? No, I think I put two little guys, but I just shortened up the box. So I made it look like it was just a. I still got it. A flattened thing. And it actually, I think you told me it ran not too bad. It worked pretty good. It yeah. worked pretty good. But this, but this one, it's because it's able to <laughs> exasperate. It's able to, you know, yeah. and still there's some type of back pressure there. This works. That cylinder? It pulls hard, eh? It pulls, man. So that's it. Is that a 28? That's a 28. Yeah. It's a 28. New old stock. You got a chain for it? I do, actually. Because it's. Yeah, it's struggling on the chain. Oh. I, 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 but still, I needed to see if it would pull, and it does, yeah. which is actually really interesting. Uh, 850s are great saws, but it didn't hurt it. The porting didn't hurt it. No, it I didn't. would tell if it did. You know, did hurt. Well, it. you can automatically tell, right? Yeah. But no, it. Uh, so I like that. You got to hear this thing though. <laughs> okay, friends. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, in closing, friends, the it didn't hurt the saw. It di it didn't hurt the eight fifty at all. Uh, it helped it. I'll tell you that straight up. It it helped it. The, Rob's chain was rough. He told me that right off the hop. He said, but it'll give us an idea. And it was getting darker and that. And so we're starting to get later and I didn't want to run saws that much. So we just, we just jumped on it. And, but today, friends, today is going to be an awesome day. I'm taking out the 075, some of the bigger saws. We're going to have the saw off. Looks like the weather's working with us. And we're going to go crack a big fur for the cemetery and, and take care of their firewood over at the cemetery for them. Uh, that's the nice thing about doing this, friends. You get to help folks out. So, anyways, that 850, that cylinder, the intake, friends, was opened, like, a ways. Like, uh, Tin Man's got all the, all the pictures of the cylinder, as does Bobby, or Donnie Walker. It's interesting, friends. You hear so many different things. But the, the, the only thing a guy can do to know, I talk about knowing and knowledge, is by experience. Port it, run it. You know, it's just with these old cylinders, you got to be careful on that, right? Old parts. So anyway, uh, I'm just doing my ball here. I don't know if anybody has got a sore back and they're thinking of ways they can make it better. Well... Uh, my back's more than sore, but I want to tell you, I want, I'm going to share this with you because I talk about this and there's new people coming in, friends. Listen, if you're maybe a, a bigger, bigger person, you're packing some weight that you, you wish you didn't have on you and, and you're finding it hard. Like I'm on all fours on the ball right now. Okay. This, this is on boom. So, so instantly what's happening is all my little stability muscles are firing I've never done an exercise that has helped my pain and my balance 
and my core more than this this this, this ball ever and i've done lots because i when i broke my back right i had to, they had me doing all kinds of stuff this thing helped me so one leg 30 seconds what you saw what i did at the beginning of the video one arm right so this is what we do here one leg and then when you get better at it you can kind of do like the dog on the fence post right get into this which friends the benefits are massive here so then you you know just as you get more comfortable you can do more things now if and i i tell folks if you can't even get on all fours just put let me just finish this and i'll show you what to how to start this thing if you're if you're in really right on ground level okay so you do 30 seconds here i'll speed through it okay then the next one is this one and this separates the voice see i'm going see what's happening to me friends i'm like constantly now here's the one that separates this is the one right here crossover you don't want to be looking or talking you'll lose your balance straight ahead boom this is advanced friends don't get me wrong this is freaking advanced right here crossover okay 30 seconds each side okay now for the people who and listen I, i'm not showing you this for something stupid friends this this helped me nothing's helped me like this thing's helped me okay if you have back problems and sit-ups are horrible i agree i haven't done a sit-up in I, I don't know how long my core strong friends this now if you're just starting out on the ball i want to show you i'm going to put this down a little bit to give you an idea listen so so this is this is what i do i start like this okay right like this then i go like 30 seconds right on the one arm 30 seconds on the other 30 seconds on this leg 30 seconds on this leg whoa then i do hang on i do 30 seconds crossover i'm probably gonna fall down now 30 seconds here right then 30 seconds here okay that's the workout it's a five minute freaking thing but listen if you're just starting out friends on the ball okay if you're just starting out Trust me, friends, I, I'm not wasting your time with this. If you're complaining about your back, folks don't really like listening to complaining. They'll listen for a while, but if it continues, they start saying, well, can't you do something about it? Yes, you can. This right here. It's not like sit-ups. It's not all this crazy stuff. It's just getting on. Listen, trust me on this one. This is where you start. If you can't even do the uh, this, if you can't do this, do this. Just go like this. Get the ball, lean on it. Bellhopper, I was talking to you about this. See my toes? Start like this, friends. Just keep your toes as training wheels for now until you get strong enough in the core where you can just start doing this. Just this alone, friends. Yeah, I, I I can't stress, I'm so excited about this exercise because it helped me so immensely when I broke my back. This is where I was when I broke my back. I laid here for four months, right there, right there. It was the lowest, probably the, the most lowest point of my life besides when I, the other time. <laughs> Friends, the ball. You will notice a difference within, if you did it every day, just, just, just try it. Come, don't kick it and don't say, oh, but I can't do that because of this. Well, then if you say, but you can't, well, just drop but out. But I can't, oh, because of this, my, oh no. Well, then fine. You want to stay, stay injured or stay sad, stay something. You don't have to. Can't. Can't you just, if you can walk, then that means you can go like this. If you can walk, then that means you can walk up to a ball and go like this and just stick your, go like this. That, that's what that means. If you've got no balance and no core whatsoever, then just do what I said with your toes. Then work up to this. 
Okay, now I'm on all fours. Hey, this is hard. You're darn tootin'. That's good because it's not this. It's not this, this, this freaking sit thing. Sit-ups work all these big muscles. Friends, I'm talking about the muscles in your freaking core, way down in your like pelvic and they're called stabilizing muscles. And what happens when you do the ball and you start to bounce? They, I, I'm, I'm really excited about this friends because it helped me and I was smashed to pieces. I was smashed. Friends, okay, you have to understand I had nothing, no core. It hurt to fart. It was awful. It was the lowest point of my life. Okay, so the climb back was interesting. And, uh, but, but this was paramount for me. Paramount. I noticed a difference between a week and a half of starting it. Pain levels dropped. Balance. Put my boots on. All the little things in life. You drop something. You go, oh, I got to go down for that. Friends, when I would be in the kitchen shortly after my accident, even, even for, for years after, if I drop something, my wife would be, I'll get it, babe. Don't worry. I'll get it. Do you know how hard it was for me just to get down and bend down and pick up something? It was brutal. I felt horrible. Anyways, the simple things in life get easier again. They start to. The stabilizing muscles. I'm not finished this video yet. I know it's longer than I thought, but listen. Stabilizer muscles are teeny. They're all, they're, there's, there's hundreds of them. They're all by the spine and they're just little teeny and they start firing. They do, they start firing when you're balancing like this. They all start popping and firing. Whereas doing this type of thing, you're just working the main big ones. Yes, it, uh, to say it's unbeneficial would not be true. Yes, of course it would, but start at the ground. Then when it comes to getting, doing um, a little more advanced stuff, I just, I don't like doing sit-ups. I do like this type of thing, just leg lifts. And I'll just, I'll, I'll engage, you know, where you, right? Get your pelvic engaged. And then I'll, I'll just literally start doing stuff like this, doing leg lifts to work core. Friends, I'm telling you, it saved me out big time. This video is longer than I thought. I should probably maybe edit it so it's a little shorter, but I'm not going to. Listen, friends, I'm so freaking pumped up right now. I'm excited about that 850 head. We're going to go run it today. We're running big saws and a huge log for the cemetery. I already said that. Now I'm repeating myself. I'm jumping in that sauna. I'm going to sweat. Power saw Rob's coming over. Give Power saw Rob a hoot, friends. He's a great guy. That's about it. But listen, if you're complaining about your back and you're staying stuck, try this. It'll pull you out of the hole. It will. It'll pull you right out of the bite and you'll be like, this works. Thank you, Buck and Belly Ray, for the tip on that ball. And if you've been on the ball and you've experienced the benefits, because I've been piping off about this for five years, share your experience in here, friends, so people know that it's not a joke. This is crazy. Simple. Five minutes a day? Who doesn't have that? <gasps> Oh, for a nude, friends, be kind to one another and we'll get you on the next video.